day and welcome to another episode of Did You Know. Today I'm joined with Jason here from Slowtown in the Marua Mall branch. Jason, welcome. Uh, thank you. Welcome you too. Thank you. So today we're going to talk about the history of coffee. Um, can you just quickly run us through the history of coffee? Yes, I can. It actually started in Ethiopia. That's the origin of coffee. And from there it, it spread worldwide. Um, so since when it was founded in Ethiopia, with all of the, the colonization that was happening in the world, um, so from there, uh, some powerful guy saw it, and he took it from there to another country, to Yemen, and from Yemen it went to France, and that's how it grew. Uh, Ethiopian coffee is actually your, is your best coffee, actually. Yeah. And you get different blends of Ethiopian coffee, so you get it very light or very strong. And coffee traditionally is drank without milk or sugar even. That's amazing. Now, Jason, there's two different types of coffee. Can you quickly just run us through the different types? Yes, yeah, so you get the Arabica uh, bean and then you get the Robusta. Now, your Arabica is more your, your superior bean. It's, it's better in taste, but its production is much more than a Robusta. So your Robusta is, your, your, is a weak quality. It's for your, for your kids' coffee. And then you get the Arabica, which is, like I said, superior in taste, is the best. It's also the bean for your specialty coffee. Okay. Um, can you quickly run us through what should, we, what should we be looking out for when we buy our coffee? It's always with a roast. Uh, like we at Slowtown, we do it. If it's longer than three months, we remove it from the shelf. Even two months. Because the, the, the better your roast or the more fresher your roast, the better coffee you get. We thank you, ma'am. And then we'll be back next week. See you then. Bye.